Hello friends, today we are going to study about Pythagoras theorem. It is also known as Pythagorean theorem. Actually, it is a trick which is used to find the third side when two sides are given in a right angle triangle. Look here. This is a triangle, but the, I had not done here right angle. Now I am doing it. Look here. This Pythagoras theorem or this trick is only used when a triangle is a right angle triangle. Now there are three sides, they have different name. You can say if this is right angle triangle, the opposite side of the right angle triangle or the greatest or the longest side is always hypotenuse. And the other two sides or the legs or you can say the legs of right angle. One is adjacent or one is opposite or you can say both are adjacent to 90 degree. So one we call it A, one we call it B. I had not given name A, B, C. Why I had not given that also I am going to tell you. Because generally students get confused. If I will give you name A, B and C. Then this is hypotenuse A, C, A, B and B, C. Now look here. That I will tell you why I had not given that also. Hypotenuse square will be equal to the sum of square of other two sides. This is Pythagoras. Suppose they had given this side as 12 and this is 5. So they tell us to find this. We can easily find. Or sometimes they will give these two sides and if they tell this or these two sides and they, then also we can find. That also I am going to explain first look here. Now these two sides are in, in place of A we are having 12. In place of B we are having 5. We can find H square with the help of these two. Now square of 12 is 144. Square of 5 25 h square is equal to 169 so it, this is h square 169 so we want only h so we will we have to find root of 169 and we know root of 169 is 13 sometimes what is happening if I am giving you names right now a b and c and if we will not write this a b and h then generally we are using a c square is equal to a b square plus b c square but every time they will not give this a this b and this c sometimes they will give like this also look here i am drawing a rough figure here and they will tell right angle at c at that time this formula will not work but student generally thinks a c square is equal to a b so they will mug up this that's why i had used h a and b now general problem with the student is first problem is this and the second problem they don't understand what sometimes h is given to you and b is also given look here i am drawing it one more time a triangle now 13 hypotenuse is given to one side 5 is given to then you have to find this so they don't understand this time the same formula or we will interchange they s square is equal to a square plus b square they will put 13 here and 5 here and then they are going to find it that is wrong always this is h this is b and this is a or you can say a here or b here but you don't change and now you directly also we can say that if I convert this h square minus a square is equal to b square or h square minus b square is equal to a square. A or b will never come in front and they are generally sometimes they try a square minus x square is equal to b square or b square minus h square is equal to. These are the simple mistake they do and they lost their mass marks. So thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel if you like this video. Thank you.